Did you know you could customize the appearance of your Vimeo player to fit your brand? Customizing the player does require a paid Vimeo account, but as long as you have one, you can choose which accessibility options to give viewers when they watch. Customizing the player is easy. Here's how. First, navigate to the player settings. Next, customize the player. Then, save your settings and create presets. Alright, step one. Let's navigate to the player settings. Find your video in your video library and click the player tab. Next, let's customize the player. You've got a ton of options. A lot of them are pretty self-explanatory, but let's go through them one by one. First, the settings that let you customize the look of the player itself to match your brand. Primary color changes the color of the play bar and the play button. Accent color. This one's a bit more subtle. It controls the color of the play button and other control elements when you hover over them. It controls the progress within the play bar and it also controls the volume color. Icon and text color. This adjusts the color of the icons themselves and the text on the player. It doesn't change the color of the Vimeo logo. We'll touch on that in just a sec. Background color is also pretty subtle. It sets the color of the video before the thumbnail loads. Custom logo. As long as you're on a standard plan and up, this option allows you to upload your own logo to display in the bottom right corner of the player. Upload here. You can choose whether to show the logo during playback. If you enable this, then when a viewer clicks play, the rest of the play bar will fade away while the logo will remain persistent. You can also make it so the logo is clickable, so that if somebody clicks on the logo, it will send them to whichever website you designate here. We've seen people get creative with this, like adding text that says sign up if it's a video promoting an event, or donate, or buy now. The possibilities are endless. Note, when you upload your own custom logo, it lives alongside the Vimeo logo on the player. You can remove the Vimeo logo, we'll touch on that in a bit. Next, let's chat through the player settings that dictate which details are shown, or not shown, on the top left of the player. Profile picture. You can toggle that on or off. Title of the video. Byline. That's your account name. Let users decide. This means you're enabling viewers to decide which of these video details they'd like to see. You can also choose to hide them all in one click. While video details dictates what's shown on the top left of the frame, actions determines what's shown or not shown on the top right. You can enable viewers to like your video, to save it in their watch later queue, and to share and embed it right from the video itself. This is really useful if you want viewers to be able to share a video you've embedded or to embed it themselves. You'll notice that toggling on embed doesn't add an additional icon on the player. Instead, it will be visible to viewers within the share icon. And same as with video details, you can hide them all in one click. All right, on to how you want the play button displayed. The classic view, is having it displayed on the bottom. But you can also center it. You can also select auto, which will automatically adjust the position based on the player size. Usually, auto will place the play button on the bottom, but when the browser is really small, it will be placed in the center. That's especially the case on mobile. Now onto player controls. This lets you decide which accessibility options to give viewers. You can hide all of them, but that's not very common. It's actually pretty common to show all of them, since it gives viewers a lot of options for how they want to consume your content. You can toggle on or off the progress bar. If you turn it off, viewers won't be able to see where they are in a video or jump around. You could toggle on or off the volume slider. You could turn on or off the closed captions. And with transcript, if you toggle that on, viewers will be able to search your video for keywords and jump around to the spot they're most interested in. Pretty cool, right? We definitely suggest keeping this option enabled if you have dialogue in your video. If you toggle off quality, you're making it so that viewers can't go in and choose which resolution to watch your video at. If you keep speed enabled, viewers will be able to watch at a slower or faster pace. Disable it if you want to force viewers to watch it at 1x speed. Make sure audio tracks is toggled on if you've uploaded custom audio tracks, like a dubbed audio track in another language, director's commentary, or descriptive audio. If you toggle on or off quality, speed, or audio tracks one at a time, you won't see a visual change reflected on the player itself. That's because they're all hidden inside the settings gear icon. But if you disable them all, the gear icon will disappear. Keep chapters toggled on if you've got chapters in your video and want viewers to be able to navigate through them in the player. Chromecast and AirPlay. These both give the viewer the option to project the video onto devices connected to their Wi-Fi network. For example, if you want viewers to be able to cast content onto their living room TV, you should keep these enabled. Picture in picture. This gives the viewer the ability to watch a Vimeo video on their computer in a small window. 
This comes in handy for long videos where the viewer might want to keep an eye on the content while also working in other apps. And full screen. This enables the viewer to watch the video in full screen mode. Usually you want to keep this option enabled. And then the Vimeo logo. If you uncheck that, you will remove the default Vimeo logo that's on the player. All right, that was a lot. Now on to step three, saving your settings and creating presets. Once you're happy with your player customizations, hit save. And now your video will have all your preferred settings. If you think you'll want to use the same settings in the future, hit create presets and name your preset. Now, next time you have a video and you want to customize its settings, your new preset will be available from the dropdown. Easy. And not only will you be able to use this new preset in the future, your teammates will have access to it too. If you're the owner of the Vimeo account, you'll also see a Manage button, which lets you manage and delete presets in the account settings. Owners can also specify any preset as the default for the account as a whole. That means any future video uploaded to the account will automatically have these player settings applied. All right, that's it. By customizing your Vimeo player, you're staying on brand and really dialing in which accessibility options you want to give viewers. 